Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today for our virtual program, part four of the four-part series with Nefesh Benefesh, Making Israel Home. The format of this program will allow participants to only see the featured speakers. We'll begin the program in a few minutes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today for our virtual program, the final installment of our four-part series with Nefesh Benefesh, Making Israel Home. The format of this program will only allow participants to see your speakers. We'll begin the program in just a few moments. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today for our virtual program, the final installment of our four-part series with Nefesh Benefesh, Making Israel Home. The format of this program will only allow participants to see the featured speakers. All participants are muted and are unable to unmute themselves to keep the line clear of background noise. This program will be recorded. Now, it is my distinct honor to turn the call over to the Chief Executive Officer of Jewish National Fund, Russell Robinson. Hi, this is Russell Robinson, the Chief Executive Officer of Jewish National Fund, um, welcoming you to our special four-part series with Nefesh Benefesh, Making It Home. And what a story it is and, and it continues to be. But why Jewish National Fund and Nefesh Benefesh? Well, it's truly in our DNA. It's about who we are. It's about our very existence as an organization. 119 years ago, this organization was established to purchase, repurchase the land of Israel for the Jewish people everywhere. And that repurchasing acres by acres of land, who was it for? It was for the people, the Jewish people. And we developed cities throughout Israel, Moshavim and Kibbutzim, 
We've turned desert and turned it green and provided water resources to a thirsty nation. But all of that is about people, Jewish peoplehood. Now, that's a word that's thrown around a lot over the years, but it's a word that's really a reality because of our work and the work together with Nefesh Benefesh. We always say at Jewish National Fund, if you want to really see Israel, if you want to really have a relationship with Israel, it's not in the hallways of the Knesset. It's on the streets of Kiryat Shimona, in the Arava, in Beersheba, Tiberias, in Akko, in Tel Aviv, in Yerushalayim. Guess what? It is in all those streets and all those places and throughout the entire Israel in which you can run into, learn from, drink wine, have a beer, see an entrepreneur from a person from North America who has made Aliyah through Nefesh Benefesh. Yes, in all those places. Because that is what Nefesh Benefesh has done. It is made in Israel, not a place in which there's nowhere else to go, so that's why you call Israel home? No. It's a place today that is being calling home to our Jewish people because it's a great place. And that's why the picture behind me is so perfect for today's story. Because it's a vibrant nation that we are making together vibrant, together with Nefesh Benefesh and Jewish National Fund. We're building that bridge, the human bridge, the fabric of who we are, together with the land of Israel. And that reality, that reality has been made because of an organization that has taken a vision and a dream and made it such a working system that makes a difference in so many people's lives. So if you want to be part of our Go North campaign, bringing 300,000 people to the North, be part of Nefesh Benefesh and Jewish National Fund. If you want to be part of our Blueprint Negev campaign and bringing 500,000 people to the Negev, be part of Jewish National Fund and Nefesh Benefesh. And today, you're going to hear from Rabbi Josh Bass, and you're going to hear the story, the story of our journey home. founder and executive director of Nefesh Benefesh. I'm so glad that even though we can't be together in person that we have these few minutes so I can share with you the Nefesh Benefesh story, mission, and impact. Let's start at the beginning. 18 years ago while I was serving as a rabbi in Boca Raton, Florida, my family experienced a tragedy that would change the course of my life and the lives of tens of thousands. On March 28, 2001, my 13-year-old cousin, Aftali Lansgrown, was waiting at a Petah Tikva bus station with some friends and heading to their last day of school before Passover vacation, when a Hamas suicide bomber approached them and detonated a bomb. That Wednesday morning, Naftali was killed along with his friend, Eli Ron Rosenberg. The shockwaves from afar shook me to my core, and I was left with a compulsion to act to fight the darkness with some light, with something positive. I needed to do something not only in Aftali's memory, but to also recalibrate my own personal compass and examine my own Zionist-Israel connection. So my wife Batsheb and I decided to dust off our Aliyah plans, the ones that were paramount to us when we were newlyweds, but had somehow been put on the back burner. As we shared our decision to move to Israel with family, friends, to our surprise, we discovered that we were surrounded by people who shared the same Aliyah dream. So we asked ourselves and others, if there's so many who share this dream, what was holding them back? Why since the founding of the State of Israel in 1948, was there never an influx of Jews from North America? 
And what we found through our own Aliyah journey was that the reason Aliyah from North America wasn't thriving was not because of a waning passion for Zionism or lack of interest or desire. We discovered that there were actually thousands of people, tens of thousands of people, who wanted to make the move, but no one was there to help them and to address the unique concerns of North American Jews. You see, historically, Israel viewed Aliyah as a mechanism of refuge, a solution for those running away from persecution and anti-Semitism, distress, and looked at itself as a safe haven for the world's Jews. Although Israel acknowledged that there were those who didn't need to take from the country, who wanted to give to Israel, to hit the ground running and to put their skills and education to use, and although Israel acknowledged that Aliyah of choice existed, and there were those not running away from something, but actually running towards Israel. The infrastructure, cultural sensitivity, and process was never geared to immigrants from Western countries. So Nefesh Benefesh was born. Together with my dear friend and partner, Tony Gelbart, we created a mechanism and infrastructure to facilitate, educate, and provide the necessary tools for North American Aliyah, an Aliyah of choice. Our formula is based on these basic pillars. Streamline and reduce bureaucracy, provide guidance and up-to-date information at every stage of the process, help new Olim find employment, create programming and resources to encourage our Olim to acclimate, integrate, and thrive in Israel. With those pieces in place, we excitedly launched our first Aliyah charter flight in the summer of 2002 bringing our first plane of 419 Nefesh Benefesh Olim, new immigrants, to Israel. Terrorism will not deter the people of Israel, the people of America, the people of the free world. We choose Israel. We're not running out of our discontent of North America, but we choose Israel because we believe that the continuity and the survival of the Jewish people is bound and dependent upon the state of Israel. What's remarkable about this is not only is the first wave and the greatest wave of North Americans to go at one time to Israel, but the beauty of this is that this is the first of many planes to follow. Thank you. But that's only the beginning. Since 2002, we've welcomed 60 charter flights, which are flights made up entirely of people making Aliyah and have brought more than 60,000, 60,000 Olim back home to Israel. Sixty thousand people. That's essentially a hundred and twenty thousand ready hands. Really incredible. Thank you for joining us today, and I speak to you from Jerusalem. My name is Dorit Friedman, and I've been with Nefesh Benefesh since its founding. You know, over the years, I've been privileged to engage many Olim, and I've asked them why they chose to make Aliyah. And their responses were almost always the same, because of the soul connection they feel when they're in Israel, or a sense of belonging and meaning, the warmth of the people and the pride they feel about being in Israel, and that really deep in their souls, they feel at home. And that's actually what the name Nefesh Benefesh means, a soul with a soul. We are all in this together. We all belong to Israel and Israel belongs to us all. A nation that's wandered for 2000 years and is now seeing its children returning is nothing, really nothing short of miraculous. And tomorrow night we celebrate the holiday of Shavuot. It's an agricultural holiday that celebrates the first fruits of the land of Israel. And also historically, Shavuot was the holiday that celebrated us coalescing as a nation for the very first time. That's where we got our calling card, our recipe for making a better world. We don't even know where Mount Sinai is because that's not what's important. What's important is what we do with it and how we own our destiny. So on the eve of this holiday, we're excited to share with you the modern story of our nation coalescing and returning home, a return that is not about surviving, but thriving. Our innovation nations return to build 
the most vibrant little country that nourishes not just her own people, but improves the world. Israel is a country that's absent of natural resources and in order to grow, must rely on its human resources. And that is why Aliyah is so important to Israel. And it will always be important to Israel. Every person that helps build Israel is part of her brain trust. The artist, the educator, the entrepreneur, the doctor, the soldier, the philanthropist, the little child. This is Israel's lifeblood. And this is what's fueling her growth. And Nefesh and JNF, we help all types of Jews from all walks of life all the time. Our partnership is organic. We are all Jews and we're all connected to our miracle country, the land of Israel. As Russell just said, our Olim, our immigrants, are the living bridge that connect the two centers of the Jewish people. Because when someone we know makes Aliyah, it strengthens American Jewish identity. It motivates us to make Jewish choices in our lives because we know how inspiring Israel is for the Jewish story. Aliyah builds the bridge. And part of the Nefesh Benefesh impact, aside from bringing in so many tens of thousands of people, is that as it allows Jews to dream big. We're a nation of dreamers. It's in our Jewish DNA. And it's not a coincidence that our national anthem is called Hatikva, the hope. So when somebody uproots themselves from their beloved birthplace to move to their beloved homeland because they're inspired to take part in the greatest project of the Jewish people, it means that the dream and the hope are alive. This once historic vision has become now a part of our lives, that we're finally able to be whom we're meant to be in our home. In just a moment, you will hear from some of the Nefesh Benefesh Olim physicians and from our lone soldiers, different kinds of heroes who are keeping us healthy and keeping us safe. Among them, 650 doctors and medical professionals. Every hospital, every clinic from Tzvat to Eilat is staffed with at least one NBN Nefesh Benefesh medical professional. I've been there before Aliyah, but I can tell you that from a personal, professional, family, all these aspects, Aliyah has been only positive and has only strengthened me in both personal as well as my professional relationships as well as for our entire family. It's been win-win for all of us. It was great for me in Canada. I didn't make Aliyah because things weren't good for me in Canada. I came because I was searching for uh, new dimensions to my life that were lacking there. Uh, for example, you know, serving as a doctor in, in Israel is much more meaningful for me and the prospect of raising a family in Israel. Uh, these are some of the things that make the decision to make Aliyah, uh, you know, really resound within me as something that was a wise decision and something that I'm really happy about. This is the place where the action will be, where the future of Israel is because the rest of the country is quite crowded. This is the place to be. This is the upcoming and growing place. A certain atmosphere here which welcomes students and welcomes new people. I came here as a board certified pediatrician. Learned Hebrew very quickly because I had no choice and started working. Being a physician in the South is a very amazing opportunity. And it's challenging because we have a huge amount of patients and not enough doctors. As the official outsourced arm of the Israeli Defense Forces, we have had the honor to assist 7,000 lone soldiers from over 68 countries from around the world. 68 countries, lone soldiers who have chosen to move to Israel alone and serve. Part of the reason why I'm doing it is to be on the forefront of the Jewish memory and um, 
I think that's a really incredible thing. There's a revolution in Judaism happening now where we're able to go back to our land waiting for 2,000 years and now like I'm able to just type in my PayPal password and go in instead of like uh, hiking through deserts. Um, and it's an incredible opportunity that I have and that Nefesh Benefesh has given me and that my parents and all of my Jewish education. I am making Aliyah because it's something that I knew I'd be doing from the age of about seven or eight when I saw my oldest brother Gal come back from the army and he had his wings from San Hanim and when I saw that I knew I wanted I wanted to do it even if I left the country it didn't make any difference whatsoever to me I knew I had to go home at some point I, I hated leaving and I always hated visiting and having to go back to the US so now it's it's a one-way ticket and I'm going home from Los Angeles, California. I was born in the Czech Republic and I decided I wanted to come to Israel. I had to do something with my life and that's why I came. I joined the army when I was 25. I was in uh, Nachal Battalion 932. It really felt like I What's the word? I, f I felt like I, I had a purpose. Everything that happened with making Aliyah, coming over here, knowing that Nefesh Benefesh had all the information waiting for me, even if I didn't need the help, knowing that there was the body there. You know, we have this Shabbat or, or Thanksgiving dinner. שיתוף פעולה של נפש בנפש איתנו ביחד, אני חושב שמהווה איזשהו מכפיל כוח. התמיכה הזאת שיש לחייל, הכתובת, הטלפון שיש לו למי להתקשר, החבר'ה שבאים ללוות אותו בסוף מסלול או בסוף הטירונות או בסוף הקורס, אפילו שהוא יוצא הביתה בסוף שבוע. זה החיבוק החם, התמיכה ומה שאנחנו מצפים ורוצים לתת לאותו חייל. My name is Dalia Levine, I have 20 years old. I arrived in Israel four months ago from Cape Town, South Africa. I am from Bombay, India, Florida, USA, Tampa Bay. Azerbaijan, Cali, Colombia. From Elizabeth, New Jersey, USA. For Yoyna Almeyan. We've helped 9,000 people. Olim moved to Israel's periphery, to the north and south. We've opened five offices throughout the country, servicing Olim in 187 communities, providing programming, events, resources to help new Olim, to help them integrate, acclimate, and thrive. And today, young professionals make up the fastest growing demographic, making Aliyah. They are the future, writing Israel's exciting next chapter. Hi everyone, I'm Ali Robinson and I wanted to welcome you to the Nefesh Benefesh Tel Aviv Hub here. We opened our doors just three years ago, around the same time that I joined this amazing organization. The Hub was created with the dream that this would not only be a free co-working space where only new immigrants could come during the day, whether to work, to study, to look for jobs or to network, but also a community a community that supports one another, a community of change makers. As Rabbi Fass mentioned, young professionals make up the fastest growing Aliyah demographic today. So it is imperative that we provide the support and guidance they need when they arrive to ensure that they are successful and are able to integrate into society. Many of our young professional Liam make Aliyah on their own and this hub has helped them find their second family. I can tell you firsthand, moving here alone is not easy, but having this space where you are surrounded by like-minded individuals who share your passion and desire to live in Israel is a huge help. And at the Tel Aviv Hub, we not only offer a space during the day, but we also organize programs and events in the evening. Events that span from wine tastings to practical workshops where Olim are developing new skills that are relevant to the Israeli job market. 
And we even host regular Shabbat dinners where we have maxed out this space with 125 olim in their 20s and 30s. These are the future leaders and we want them to have a successful aliyah. And this hub space and community that we've created has made a huge impact in allowing us to do so. So next time you're in Israel, make sure to stop by. We would love to have you here and show you around in person or better yet, come for a Shabbat dinner and we can do a l'chaim together. We hope to see you in Israel soon. But perhaps what we're most proud of is our retention rate. Before Nefesh Benefesh was founded, statistically, more than 50% of North American Olim will return to their country of origin within a few years of their move. The challenges were just too great. Since we started, we have reversed the Aliyah failure rate to a staggering 90% positive retention rate. This, in my eyes, is an enormous accomplishment. Our olim are not only acclimating to life in Israel, but they're thriving in Israel. Not only are they thriving, but Israel is thriving. This is a phenomenon. This is a wave now. There are thousands each year of lone soldiers from all over the world serving in Saha. We're the most volunteeristic society in the world. We're also one of the healthiest societies in the world. The life expectancy in Israel is four years longer than the U.S. We are reaching critical mass. There are thousands of us who are doing incredible work. It's the notion that we came to contribute. We came here because we were attracted to Israel, but we came to play a part. And again, no one does this better than Nefesh Benefesh. They're making Aliyah cool. You guys not only organize it, but you tell the story. And the story is not over. This is the story. The story hasn't even got started yet. So where are we now? COVID-19 has left a lot of damage in its wake. And yet, at this time of uncertainty, we are seeing a huge interest in Aliyah, an unprecedented interest. Just in this past month of May, Nefesh Ben Nefesh has received the most Aliyah applications by month in its 18 year history. There's a 90% increase in applications started a 92% increase in completed applications since the same time last year, a 155% increase in incoming calls, and 470 documents come to our office each day. Yes, we are open for business. Our average age of the applicant is 28. So this presents a window of opportunity for the startup nation an infusion of energy and brain power. And this is our secret sauce. This is what fuels our country. For so many generations and in many eras of darkness, our people dreamt and hoped to be masters of their destinies. And today, Israel is that land of possibilities. It's the land of promise and hope with something for everyone. So on this eve of the Shavuot holiday, we're reminded as a nation to keep dreaming big and to align our compass as a people. And today we're reminded that we're all part of a historic mission. And we're so fortunate that no matter where we live or whether we can physically move to Israel, we all nevertheless have this incredible privilege and opportunity to be part of the story. Friends, Israel is anticipating 100,000 new olim within the next 18 months. And this story, our story, it's only getting started. There is so much more than the time allows for me to share with you. And I look forward to the day that I can meet you in person to share more of this continuing story that I feel so lucky to be part of. Which, which brings me back to JNF USA, our dear friends and partners. 
We are so thankful for the friendship, the shared vision, and the support for Aliyah and helping us share our story. Together we're doing the impossible. Together we're building Israel one person at a time. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. My name is Ron Warner, a Jewish National Fund USA Vice President, President of JNS Must High School in Israel, and the Chairperson of JNS Nefesh Benefesh Task Force. Thank you for joining us today, Russell Robinson, Rabbi Fass, Ali, and Dorit. We all appreciate your wisdom and your inspiration. Today was the fourth part of our four part series where we learned about Nefesh Benefesh. We heard the story of Ambassador Michael Oren and what Aliyah was like before Nefesh Benefesh existed. We saw the contributions that he and other Olim have made to Israeli society. We heard from famed VC investor John Medved, learning about the economic benefits of Aliyah and literally the incredible ROI that Aliyah has, not just on the Israeli economy, but how the ROI in Israel through Aliyah makes us a light unto the nations of the world. We learn the personal stories of two Olim, not just thinking about the numbers of 60,000 plus Olim that have come to Israel, but understanding individual stories, challenges, emotional realities, and contributions, particularly now as these were medical Olim serving Israel in the battle against COVID-19. And lastly, today, we learn the story of Nefesh Benefesh itself, the history, the creation, what drives the people at Nefesh to deliver what we call Aliyah 2.0, Aliyah of choice, Aliyah of freedom. This is the Aliyah, this is the movement of our people that continues the modern miracle of Israel to make sure that we have a safe and a secure land of Israel for the Jewish people, a Jewish future, and to have a Jewish homeland. We say, we are here, Hinenu. We are here, Hinenu. Aliyah continues during COVID. We might have had a brief pause, but we have not stopped. Next week, a group flight will land with 50 Olim coming to Israel. In the next several months, we will see another 15 flights with groups of Olim making Aliyah to the land of Israel. Our year-over-year -year demand in Aliyah applications is up 90% right now. We expect that in the next 18 months, 100,000 people will make Aliyah joining our Israel. Nefesh is literally the number one speed dial of El Al. And this is the power of Nefesh Benefesh. The ingenuity of Nefesh that has led the way for over 60,000 Olim to migrate from North America. The ingenuity of Nefesh will continue to support Aliyah, the growth of Aliyah, and the growth of a safe, secure Eretz Israel. Now it's our time to stand up. It's our time to support Israel and the people of Israel. It's our time to support Aliyah 
to our friends at Nefesh Benefesh. As we're here during the last day of May, we're reminded that May is the birth month of Theodore Herzl, the visionary that led to the creation of the modern state of Israel. We think about the birth of the state of Israel that also occurred in the month of May. And tomorrow we begin the holiday of Shavuot, the gift of our laws. It's our code of conduct. The Torah is the moral compass of the Jewish people. It teaches us our obligation of not just to kum olam, but to kum Yisrael, healing and building Israel. That's what Aliyah does. That's what supporting Nefesh Benefesh does. This is our moment, all of us to say, Hinenu, we are here. We believe in the land of Israel. We believe in the people of Israel. We believe in our obligations to the land and to the people. We, together, we will support Nefesh Benefesh in its critical mission. You can see on the screen above me, myjnf.org forward slash Nefesh. It's a very easy way to make contributions to support Nefesh. And if you really want to roll up your sleeves and get involved, come join us on the JNF USA Nefesh Benefesh Task Force. We'd love your import. We'd love your support. We'd love your help. Hag Sameach, and thank you for joining our series.